the good shepherd has risen, who laid down his life for his sheep, and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, welcome to our Mass here at Helston as we celebrate today the Monday in the fifth week of Easter. A little technical word first, I say this, not that I assume anybody is interested, but for my own benefit, I need to know what I've recorded on each device so that I know what's gone right and what's gone wrong when I check back and I'm not going to remember it. So I'm going to say that I've got my motor camera here, a motor phone recording for Facebook. I've got a Sony phone recording the main one for YouTube because it's got a lot more capacity on it, much bigger memory. And I've got a backup on the tablet, which is what I usually use, just in case the phone doesn't work. So, belts and braces, we'll see what happens. Mass is offered today for Ellie Boyle. Ellie is the daughter of Celia, one of our faithful parishioners. Um, Ellie has recently suffered from coronavirus, but is recovering, I'm pleased to say, but she is now suffering from what the doctors are calling post-viral syndrome, which means she is feeling exhausted all the time. And I think we know this from others we've seen and heard about on the media. So we pray for Ellie and for her family. Brothers and sisters, firstly, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual health, so that defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gift, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. With the connivance of the authorities, a move was made by pagans as well as Jews to make attacks on Paul and Barnabas and to stone them. When the Apostles came to hear of this, they went off for safety to Lyconia, where in the towns of Lystra and Derbe and in the surrounding country they preached the good news. A man sat there who had never walked in his life because his feet were crippled from birth. And as he listened to Paul preaching, he managed to catch his eye. Seeing that the man had the faith to be cured, Paul said in a loud voice, Get to your feet, stand up. And the cripple jumped up and began to walk. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in the language of Lyconia, These people are gods who have come down to us disguised as men. They addressed Barnabas and Zeus, and since Paul was the principal speaker, they called him Hermes. The priest of Zeus outside the gate, proposing that all the people should offer sacrifice with them, brought garlanded oxen to the gate. When the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard what was happening, they tore their clothes and rushed into the crowd, shouting, Friends, what do you think you are doing? We are only human beings like you. 
we have come with good news to make you turn from these empty idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that these hold. In the past he allowed each nation to go its own way, but even then he did not leave you without evidence of himself in the good things he does for you. He sends you rain from heaven, he makes the crops grow when they should, he gives you food and makes you happy. Even this speech, however, was scarcely enough to stop the proud offering them sacrifice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Not to us, Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name give the glory. For the sake of your love and your truth, lest the heathen say, Where is their God? Our God, he is in the heavens. He does whatever he wills. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to men. Not to us, Lord, but to your name give the glory. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Christ has risen and shone upon us, whom he redeemed with his blood. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Anybody who receives my commandments and keeps them will be one who loves me. And anybody who loves me will be loved by my Father. And I shall love him and show myself to him. Judas, this was not Judas Iscariot, said to him, Lord, what is all this about? Do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we shall come to him and make our home with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my word, and my word is not my own. It is the word of the one who sent me. I have said these things to you while still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all I have said to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Before we address our prayers to God our Father, from whom all good things come, let us first with thankful hearts acknowledge all that he has bestowed upon us. Let us pray for the Church, the assembly of God's people, in our parish and community. May it grow in love and mutual service to be a living sign of God's presence among us. Let us pray for the world in which we live. May people turn from their idols of power wealth and sensual pleasure to worship the one true God. Let us pray for men and women of science. As they advance in knowledge of the universe, may they recognise God's handiwork in all created things. For ourselves too, we pray. May we heed the words of Christ in today's Gospel, calling on us to express our love for him and for the Father, by always obeying his commands. And may the Holy Spirit lead us all to a deeper understanding of the person and words of Jesus. Father, you have made Jesus our Saviour and High Priest. In union with his unceasing prayer for us, we offer you these petitions. In your mercy, grant us all that we ask for, with faith and devotion, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to be pleased with us and accept the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of all my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to Lord you let yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfilment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with heartful joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Michael and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. For Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give it to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. 
Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this powerful sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Lightare, Alleluia, Quia, Quam,